Hey everyone, so today's Together We Are Mondays, and I think that it's quite interesting, the topic for this week. Positivity is something that needs to be incorporated into recovery, because without positivity, you're stuck in the eating disordered mind of self-hatred and loathing, and um, looking at life in a cynical way that you can't really um, enjoy it, and this life is there to enjoy. You're supposed to go out, have fun, have adventure. Um, so this week, the topic is to address five quotes, maybe songs, books, or um, anything that has helped you to stay positive in your recovery. Um, you can also say any positive affirmations, stuff that builds you up, so we want five of them. Um, now before I start, I just want to say, if you guys want to post any of yours below, go ahead and do it. I'd love to hear what keeps you guys positive, because you never know, something that keeps one person positive might be able to help another person. So the first thing that I think, when I think about positivity, is recognizing that your illness is not a not a problem, it's not a flaw with who you are as a person, it is a disease and you can recover from it. Um, one of my favorite quotes is in the 7th Harry Potter book, The Deathly Hallows, and that's by J.K. Rowling, and it says, of course it's happening in your head, Harry, but why on earth should that mean that it's not real? I think we do sometimes think that because eating disorders are mental illnesses that they're not as important as say cancer but when we look at eating disorders and look at a quote like that and recognize yes I have an illness but that doesn't determine if I'm going to um, live a terrible life it determines that I'm sick and I need to get better um, I love that quote because it just says that what is reality to you that is that's where you're at and you can't you can't claim to know another person's reality but you can achieve a reality far, far better than the pain and agony that your eating disordered reality has been. Um, so I think that addresses the first one. The second one is a quote from The Lion King. I'm a big fan of The Lion King actually recently I got into that, but it says the past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Eating disorders are not, not about food or weight, as we all know. Um, they're about past traumas, abuses, they're how we cope with things, they're the way that we've learned to, to manage our lives that seem out of control. Um, the reason that I like that quote is because therapy is that, it's recognizing that the past, the past painful, the things, the abuses, the traumas that we've lived through, it can weigh us down, but by being able to look at it and say, okay, this is what happened to me, but I'm not going to let it define me. I'm not going to let the emotional um, abuse that my parents um, put on me have that dictate the rest of my life. It's recognizing that it was painful, especially living through it, but recognizing that from that, I know and I have a connection with other people that makes me empathetic and caring, and that my sympathetic nature comes from the fact that I never had that and recognizing qualities and characteristics of yourself that have strengthened because of the abuses and that you've survived and all of the um what's it called all of the all of the things that you've been working on in therapy yes it's hard it's painful when you have to go and re walk yourself through those memories those painful memories yes it's terrifying to to be vulnerable enough to open up about them because they're things that we want to repress. They're terrible and they've been weighing us down for so long. But the thing that I think is really interesting about this quote is it says you can either run from it or you can learn from it. You can't run forever. It's gotten you somehow. It's trapped you in a corner and left you with an eating disorder. And I think that that is when you have to look and say, yes, maybe I was sexually abused, maybe I was physically abused, maybe I didn't have any abuse and that's that's what scares me because I have an eating disorder and I, I don't come from a household that was like that. Recognizing that and seeing where you're at and being able to work through those memories will help them not weigh as much on you because you'll be able to not forgive your abuser necessarily, but be able to come to terms with yourself and say that it wasn't your fault that you were abused. It wasn't your fault that you suffered and that you developed an eating disorder. That's why I really like that quote. 
The third thing would be the song I Can Go the Distance by, um, I don't know who it's by actually, but it's in the Hercules movie. And I'm a big Disney fan if you guys haven't noticed there's two Disney. Okay. But I Can Go the Distance is just talking about like how you can do it. You can get there. You can go um, and reach recovery. You can get all the way. Um, I know there's this one part and it's like, I can go the distance. I don't care how far. Someday I'll be there. And it's like, those lyrics are awesome because it's recognizing therapy is going to take a lot of work. Recovering from your eating disorder doesn't just happen in a day. But I love that song because it's saying that you can get there. You can have a fully recovered life, which is something I think is pretty amazing. Um, which leads into my next quote, which is by Natasha Bedingfield. And it says, I'm only one voice in a million, and you ain't taking that voice from me. I love that quote. That quote, to me, it sums up that I'm my own person. I'm not my eating disorder. Sorry, my nose itches. Um... I'm not my eating disorder. I have been silenced from my eating disorder for so long and my voice has been suppressed and I remember therapy sessions and even reaching out to my counselor where I couldn't speak. I could not physically say how I felt, which it should be easy to say, oh, I feel angry, I'm upset, I want to cry, but no, I, I physically couldn't say anything. And I think that as you recover from an eating disorder, recognizing that you have a voice that you can speak up that is what is awesome. That is the thing to hold on to. That you are one voice in a million, but no one, no one in the entire world can take that away from you. Um, which is actually one reason that I really love doing YouTube here. I love my individual channel, Beautiful Vulnerability, and I love being on the Together We Are team and Perfecting Your Skin collaborator because I'm able to give a voice for the people out there who might not feel that they have a voice. They might feel that the eating disorder is their prevalent voice. But through me speaking up and saying that this is not the way to live, eating disorders are not something that you can, you can live with, that you deserve recovery. Having a voice out there that saying that is so hopeful to help you recognize that you have your own voice and you can recover. Um, and I think then the last thing that I have um, down for a positive motivational thing is the song don't Stop by S Club 7. I don't know if you guys remember them. They're a British band from, I want to say the 90s. They had a TV show. It was good if you watched it. Um, but yeah, basically the lyrics are so good and it's like, don't stop, never give up. Hold your head high and reach the top. Let the world see what you have got. Bring it all back to you. Um, listen, to, I'll post the link below. Listen to that song if you've never heard it because it's a wonderful uplifting thing saying to never give up and that when Ed wants to tear you down, when Ed is whispering to you saying that you need to binge, you need to purge, you need to restrict, you need to exercise, that you can say, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to engage in eating disordered symptoms anymore. I want to have a recovered life and to do that I need to stop the thinking. Um, and not to stop the recovery process, which is awesome because there's this one part of the song, it's like, um, they're like, individuality, and it's so awesome. I love that song because it's like, it's just telling you that you're individual, you're unique, you don't have to be Ed's victim anymore. So go listen to that song. Let me know if you guys have any other positive things, um, and I can't wait to hear what the other girls have to say for their positive, uplifting things. Um, I do have a last remark that I want to say because I do think that positivity in your life is vital to recovery. I have noticed such a big change. I know recently, I think it was mid-January that the Together We Are channel did a self-worth video talking about um, positive affirmations in recovery and um, self-praise. And having that positivity in your life is amazing. It has helped me in so many ways that like, can't even tell you like it's so good but um yeah so I, sorry I'm like really positive right now so because I was down this morning and then having like even if you say something positive it can pick your day up even when you are having like a bad morning or something so 
you never know. Positivity is a wonderful way, and I think that it's vital that you incorporate it in your recovery because you live in negativity and self-hatred and belittling thoughts for so long that positivity, yes, it's awkward at first, but it's what you're called to see. That's being an optimist, I guess you could say, but looking at things and recognizing that you don't need to look at the negatives first, that you can you can value it for what it is and not, not look at the flaws. But yes, okay, I'm gonna end this video because I feel now I'm just rambling, but let me know about your guys' things. Can't wait to hear the other girls, and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.